Greetings and welcome to room 303 in Junior English. We turn in your hymnal now to page 996-997 and Randall Jarrell's offering, The Death of the Ball Turret Gunner. Let's just begin with the reading of this poem. I'm on page 997. From my mother's sleep, I fell into the state and I hunched in its belly till my wet fur froze. Six miles from earth, Loosed from its dream of life, I woke to black flack and the nightmare fighters. When I died, they washed me out of the turret with a hose. Now, I have given a full lecture that you can see on Learn Strong uh, already of this poem, a full exegesis of this poem, in, an, in a lecture that I gave uh, a, a number of, a couple of years ago. But what I want to do uh, is I want to um, go through the information in your textbook. Please be aware that the lecture that you'll be studying with me comes actually from another textbook I was using. The poem obviously is the same. So when you have the reference in the other lecture to page numbers, please note that we are talking about a different hymnal. Here we're working with page 996, 997. Let's begin, though, with Randall Jarrell, because in my other lecture, I don't spend as much time talking about this really influential writer. Look at the dates first, 1914, ironically born the same year as John Hersey, and 1965 as his death. Let's read together, if we could. Randall Jarrell was a gifted poet, literary critic, and teacher whose work was praised by both writers and critics. His literary essays, many of which appear in his book, Poetry in the Age, 1953, have been credited with changing the critical tastes and trends of his time. First heading, literary ambitions. Born in Nashville, Tennessee, Jarrell graduated from Vanderbilt University where he studied under writers Robert Penn Warren, Alan Tate, John Crow Ransom. All of these men would prove helpful in promoting Jarrell's career. Warren and Tate published Jarrell's early poetry and criticism, and Tate helped land Jarrell his first teaching job at, King, at Kenyon College. During World War II, Jarrell enlisted in the U.S. Air Force. He served only briefly as a pilot and spent the remaining war years as an aviation instructor training pilots to fly the famed B-29 bombers that helped secure victory. Jarrell's war experiences provided him with the material for the poems in his books, Little Friend, Little Friend, 1945, and Losses, 1948. These books rank among the finest literature to emerge from the war, and I, I do highly recommend both collections to you. The next heading, American Language. Jarrell was a great admirer of the poetry of Robert Frost, and like Frost, he wrote poems based on the sounds and rhythms of American speech. Jarrell's collections, The Seven League Crutches, 1951, Lost World, 1965, both focus on childhood and innocence. The Woman at the Washington Zoo, 1960, for which Jarrell won the National Book Award for Poetry, deals with the themes of aging and loneliness. The Death of the Balter at Gunner, a brief poem told in the first person of a soldier experiencing his last moments in a World War II bomber is one of Jarrell's most famous works. American poet Robert Lowell said of Jarrell, quote, his gifts were wit, pathos, and brilliance of intelligence. These qualities in themselves were often so well employed that he became, I think, the most heartbreaking English poet of his generation, end quote. As we turn now to our study of the death of the Balter at Gunner, and again, you're going to go to the lecture already given, you want to be paying attention to the power of five lines. I would write that down, the power of five lines. It is an amazing thing what a great poet like Randall Jarrell can do with five lines. The reason I love to teach this poem, and I'll say this at the beginning of the lecture that you will watch, the reason I love to teach this poem is because it's a poem that requires some prior knowledge. I would write that down. It's a poem that requires some prior knowledge. But if you have that prior knowledge, it is a poem that must move you. I have said several times in our conversations together in Junior English that if it is the case, and I'm not certain that it is, but if it is the case that your generation lacks patriotism, it is not your fault because you are not born a patriot, as I, as I have often said, like the color of your eyes. You have to choose to be a patriot. And if you are not a patriot of your country, it is arguably because 
people of my generation have not given you good enough cause to be a patriot. And I think a study of some of the classic texts of American literature can help you to at least begin to have some appreciation for the tremendous sacrifices that were made so that you could be here today listening to my words as I speak. Certainly, I believe that a close study of this poem, The Death of the Balter at Gunner, will at least begin to resurrect for you the compelling idea that when you stand at attention for the national anthem being sung or the Pledge of Allegiance being said aloud, you are paying tribute to the lives of millions of men and women who lived, many who died, so that you can have the freedom that you enjoy. And I believe that a study, a close study of this poem will in fact lead you to that kind of appreciation. So I recommend my lecture to you. You'll find that they are listed again at learnstrong.net. Thank you.